Good morning. Today is uh, November 12th, 2020, 8.28 a.m. Eastern Time. So, um, yeah, one second, I'll be back. So today's training session, uh, I don't know which one, let's see. Uh, not clear to me, still not clear. I think it's a uh, training session 14, but let me verify. Uh, actually it's 12, wow. Training session uh, 12, end game puzzles. Uh, we're gonna spend one hour solving two, three puzzles. So uh, without moving any pieces. So let me uh, return back to position that we didn't finish yesterday. I solved it. So black moves and, and wins. Yeah, that's it. All right, let me... I think that's enough for uh, fishes. I think uh, fishes can go. Uh, I'm gonna put an image here. Uh, at existing, create new one. Abort, set position. So one second. Um, yeah, I think uh, we're good now. Yeah, this is a board. This is gonna be position. Let me make it smaller. And I'm gonna do design text. Yeah, I need to put text. Uh, Alright, so uh, black moves and wins. I think uh, that's good, I mean it's not good fun but I'm gonna decrease the size. This is good, right? Does it look good? Uh, yeah, I think it looks good. Uh, let me share my my stream with Fox, and then I should start explaining it. Right, I'm gonna show my solution and then we're gonna verify uh, with the book that I'm uh, working off. So the idea is here for um, for black is basically um, move king uh, in a position to white and approach uh, h pawns, uh, and if anything arises, sacrifice h. I mean. Uh, give up on h5 pawn but keep h7 pawn with uh, with the move 
uh, here we go. So uh, my, my thinking is go first move is here. So black, white has two options to try to recapture points or go out flank it from uh, the left, from the queen side. The queen side doesn't work. Um, I'll show you why, but let's uh, pretend like he's going this way. So go this way. Now, if it, he tries to capture here, so now I'm moving h4 pawn, he takes, and then I go uh, this way, and uh, nothing useful is for white. So he tries to outflank now, but it's not gonna work. So he goes here, 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 here. Now uh, the right move is basically just push the pawn. Man. Yeah, that's it. He's losing. So this is uh, one variation. Another variation that I thought about it. So he's gonna try to outflank me. Uh, what do I do in this case? I think uh, it's still the same idea. So does he have enough time? He doesn't have enough time. So that's it. Uh, he is losing. All right, let's see what does book say. What book says. Here we go. The book says, uh, what's the position number? 15, this is fi position 15. It, this is from real game called, called um, so, so the, for white, the last name is Pritchett for white, Kagan for black, 1968. So uh, it says, uh, here we go, um, king on e5. And it says pushing with the, with the shoulder. That's a method. King f7, king f5, king g7. So now this is a move. h4, g h, h5. Uh, and uh, I think that's it. Um, h4. King H. Hold on. I think I I lost here. Uh, H5. King F7. Wow. King F7. King G4. G4. Yeah, that's still a plan. King f6. King takes h1, h4, king f5. Uh, king g3, king e4, h4, yeah, and uh, king e3, h. Why he's saying king g2? So here's a for real game, it's king g2, but it doesn't matter. It just I can push this pawn without twisting. Yeah. I solved it even more. How to say it's a more beneficial, uh, less, less waste of the moves. My solution is better, guys. All right. To the next. To the next position. Um, so the next position number 16 from chapter one, it's a white move, but they don't say who won, who lost. Let me set it up. Uh, this is on the uh, white pawn on c4, c5, h3. White king on uh, d5, uh, or black pawn on uh, b7 and uh, h5. Uh, black king on uh, d7 yeah that's it and uh, it's uh, white moves let me save it uh, yeah I think that's it that's a uh, that's a position yeah let's save it 
Well, I'll say save PGN file. I'm going to save it for future references. Uh, position 16, chapter 1. Puzzle 16, chapter 1. Let me uh, set up initial uh, position here. Uh, I'm going to basically So I'm going to change that position. OK, um, I'm going to change text. Where is this text? Uh, light moves, right? So I'm going to do question marks, win or draw, I don't know. Nobody knows at this point. We're gonna figure it out. All right, this is the uh, next one. So remember, we need to think like 20, 30 minutes on that uh, solution. I'm guessing white wins, okay? So I'm gonna think about it and then there will be a solution. Again, I'm drinking non-alcoholic beverage. This is Coca-Cola with ice. And I deserved it because I was uh, training in the morning uh, I ran one hour and five minutes according to my coach plan so um, it's, it's all good I think I calculated one variation. Let me calculate another one. Remember, we are training uh, our calculation skills and uh, you shouldn't move the pieces uh, calculated in your mind first, come up with the solution and then move the pieces and verify. That's the uh, idea of these uh, trainings.
Uh, I think it's a easy solution at this point. I mean, it, I just started over complicating, thinking about this H3 pawn and uh, moving it uh, as a first move in order to catch a position here. So black moves his king, but there's no need for such a uh, plan. So easier plan would be, from my opinion, I'm gonna show it to you now, guys. Pause it if you didn't solve it, if you watch it in the recording and solve it yourself. Uh, basically, here is a move c6 check. So if he takes, I just go here. And uh, the, the thing, if he's trying to uh, catch a position here, if he moves here, I basically move h pawn. And then he needs to move his king away from uh, the position. So I go this way and uh, he's losing this pawn in two moves or uh, in two and a half I guess so if he moves here I check oh no no he's not my bad yeah as you can see yourself uh, calculating in your mind is not that easy prone to mistakes basically not gonna work not a single solution without uh, mistakes Yeah, I think I'm gonna do again that uh, trick of uh, how they call it in Russia moving a uh, king with the shoulder of other king, right? The king moves uh, the opponent king with the shoulder. So it's still a uh, uh, first move is uh, c6 check, but instead of going with the king on c5, a white goes on, uh, on uh, e5, right? And then, the, and then if he moves his king here, I just, uh, yes, I just go here, right? And uh, let's say he moves here, I, 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 I try to push him with the shoulder. So I'm gonna push uh, his king away with my shoulder that he cannot defend c6. Right, if, and next move he's losing the pawn. So if he goes, instead of it, he goes here, I just go here, and again, the same situation. So, what there is also another possibility he moves uh, his pawn, so he's uh, what's that king on e7? No, so instead of going there, he moves his pawn. So what's my plan then? The same, I guess. Do I have enough time? I don't know, I didn't calculate properly. Oh, one second, wrong move. So I need to go this way. Yeah, I think I'm faster. Yeah, white is faster here. So here is a solution. 
right? So move C pawn, then uh, try to push uh, black shoulder, uh, black king with the shoulder. Even if he scores the tempi with the H4 move, then uh, just approach H pawn, retake it, and push H pawn to, to the queen. Let's compare with the real solution. I think I solved it, but again from second attempt. That's not good. Okay, so um, this is a real game. Gorvitz for white and the Kling for black, 1851. So here's the first move as I predicted, c6 check. All right, bc. So, and... Uh, where is King, uh, King e5. Uh, yeah, king c5 was not the right move. That was my first mistake. So he goes h4. h4. Uh, so if he goes to king e7, then right at c5 and h4. And then we're pushing him away. Uh, what's it? Uh, h4, c5. King d7, he kind of, he got in the position, but it doesn't help in this situation. King f5, king f7, king g5, king e6, of course. So six move is king h4, correct. King d d5, uh, king g5, king c5 h4, king d6, uh, yeah, if he moves here, uh, I guess, uh, I need to stop him, king f6, c5, So the next move is h5, c4, h6, c3, h7, yeah, that's, that one variation I didn't uh, calculate, but my, my solution still uh, works, but it's a negative point to me basically. So king, uh, so here white goes uh, queen d8 check, and the next is gonna be for, uh, fork. All right, yeah. He moves away. I take this, the queen. Yeah, I didn't calculate this variation. I thought uh, I thought he doesn't have anything, and if I just start pushing pawn. Apparently, he's gonna actually approach f8 square and then capture the pawn. Right? Check this out. This way, this way, uh, this way, this way, and I cannot move, right? Yeah. I cannot push my pawn. That's uh, why. Yeah, uh, from here we needed to calculate king f6 move when he goes on uh, king d d6. So let me calculate in my mind just to solidify solution properly.
Yeah, I think I got it. Let, let's uh, let me play against computer just for giggles. For laughs and giggles. Playing against computer. Is he smart enough or not? Can he draw in this situation? Yeah, he's he's basically playing main line, main variation. He can capture c5 pawn now. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's a silly of me. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I have to remove. Yeah. Now, if he moves on d6, I need to move on f6. Yeah. That's it. I don't know why he's thinking he's still losing. As might uh, he, he should have uh, resigned a few months ago. <laughs> I don't know why computers don't resign. Oh, uh, that's an interesting idea, right? Uh, still doesn't help him. So he calculated the check, uh, that's amazing. Now he's just uh, doing stupid moves. He's not even pushing the pawn. He calculated uh, that uh, fork for me, yeah. He lost. He lost. All right, let me, that's enough uh, torturing computer. Let's set up next position, position 17. Uh, here, um, the real question, it says, uh, why to move, can they win? So this is going to be our next position. I'm going to set it up. Uh, white pawns on uh, a5, uh, g3, h5, white king on uh, c3, so black pawns on... Uh, f5 g5 h6 uh, black king on uh, c5 and uh, white moves uh, position validated so let me uh, do another title setup not title an initial position it's going to be reflected here, uh, board position, browse, this is a position, yeah, I can change text too, can they win, can they win. Yeah. Um, you got it, guys. So let me. Here we go. Um, can they win? It's a good question. I'm gonna think about it up to 30 minutes. You got uh, you uh, guys, viewers, take your time too. It's not fast solution. You need to calculate possibilities. 
and nose. And this is not like an enforced tactics, which are too easy to figure out. When you see mating three, mating two, much easier than this in games calculations. I don't know why, but it looks easy. Easy enough, maybe it's not that easy. Yeah, I thought about one variation where light wins. What about the other variation that I see? Let me calculate how do I play there. All right, I calculate a second variation. White is still winning. Uh, what about other variations? Uh, here is a solution. So white moves on uh, a6. Black has to capture this passing pawn, otherwise they will be a queen. So now I go with the ki king on king side to, to capture all these three pawns, which are on the wave. So first variation I calculated. He takes it. I go here and then. Uh, he basically. First variation, he tries to to be to 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 run with the king to h file to prevent uh, white a uh, queen promotion. But it doesn't matter if I capture two pawns here. Uh, he uh, he cannot hold two pawns. Right. 
So and basically one of these pawns uh, is passing. So that's first variation. So the second variation Alright, I'm going here. So basically he takes this pawn. I go here and he tries to trick me, right? So I take with this pawn and if he takes, I retake. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, let's see how it goes. I didn't calculate this variation. Sorry guys. Yeah, but Obviously, I'm holding key squares uh, g7, g8, so this variation is not good for him. But uh, to be fair, I didn't calculate this variation in my mind, so I calculated this variation. I take, and he just starts pushing pawn, so I just walk with my king back, uh, and uh, if he moves the, his g pawn, I walk my king to that pawn and I take it. So here, he is not. I think uh, he's not winning here. So now I need to do a position. That's interesting. How to be in this case? All right, he moves here. Yeah, I mean, I just moved the pawn. Or not. Yeah, he, he has enough moves to capture. To prevent it. Right, one second. This is not good, so I did something wrong here. I see, I mean it's uh, no, it's not good. I have to go here. This variation looks like a draw. This is not a good plan. White can draw, I mean black can draw, white cannot win in this case. Um, what if I just move my king closer to f pawns right away? This FG's pawns are too strong.
What if I don't move a5 pawn at all? Move with my king on d3. He goes with king on b5. Uh, king d4. King takes on a5. King on a5. Take. Go. Goes. Yeah. Not fast enough. Yeah, I think uh, the right plan would be not to push a5 pawn, but uh, push king on d3. So if he goes here, I go here, he takes, I go here. Um, now he has to do that trick, which is not going to work anymore, because uh, black king is uh, further away. Still, it's still working. Mm, looks like a draw to me. Yeah, black points have uh, too much space, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, they cannot win. White cannot win. I think it's draw. Because of f pawn. pawn because of passing pawns on f5 and g5. So, they're just too strong. And why and Black King is has enough time to to capture pawn on a5 and uh, walk back. I just thought about other possible trick for black for white. That's gonna be interesting.
Yeah, this is more complicated than I originally thought, and it's a good thing because now I'm seeing another possible attack for white. Moving black ink with the white skin shoulder and uh, pushing F pawn at the same time. This is like really, uh, how to say it, computation, compute, computational uh, demanding procedure. I just don't have enough brain capacity to think of, uh, of that variation. Let me imagine this again. Yeah, that's it. Uh, white is winning. Check this out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
So instead of pushing F pawn right away, what I can just do, I can just walk around and I basically can capture this pawn and uh, Palakim is in a position, so if he walks, instead of doing walking there, he walks here and uh, steps in front of it. I'm gonna get him. I'm going to get him. Got him. No, one second. Did I get him? I didn't get him. Instead of going there, I just need to go here, right? So now he's in trouble. Yeah, I got him. So that's a solution for this variation. So when, so when he pushes a four pawn, I retake it, and he goes here. Instead of just wasting moves with f pawn f pawn is not fast enough if i don't move a king he's gonna push g pawn uh, if he moves a king i just go around like this the this way bam 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 take yeah so if he is not trying to break through so he just moved the king so uh white king recaptures all the pawns all the good stuff and that's it Black is losing, so that's a solution. Um, yeah, so let's see in the book if it's a proper one. So it says what's uh, 17. So it's a real game from Isakov by Isakov for white and David Tashvili for black 1968, and it says yes. They can. White can win. Oh, it says e6, a6. I don't know why there is a6. I, I, I think they still win. King on b6. King on d4. King takes on e6. King on e5. f4. Takes uh, g4. Yeah. They said GF so loses, we already considered it. King G4, King B5, King G3, King C5, King F2, King D4, King G3, King uh, D5, King, King G3, King D5. And now it's a triangle. Uh, interesting. Uh, yeah. I mean, even without triangle, I think they can still lose. Yeah, that's interesting. King h3. It's, this is interesting move. King d4. Uh, king... Uh, No, no, no. Triangle. King H3 here. How? <laughs> um. Okay, uh, King. Uh, 
g3 king d5 king h3 i mean I, I, how they playing king h3 you cannot play here assumption is wrong here so g4 g4 king e4 king b5 king e3 king c5 king f2 king d4 king g3 king d5 king takes g4 yeah and now they're saying it's triangle that's what i've been losing king d4 yeah and uh, king g3 it's a triangle king d5 and now it's triangle can, can they win here without even triangle king h3 king d4 king h4 king d5 king g3 king e6 king f2 king f6 king e3 king f5 king f3 and black resigns yeah i don't know about this triangle do we need this triangle at all i mean just take king d5 throw it on the five for a second uh, king takes g4 king e4 king g3 king d5 yeah i need to think about this triangle more why do we need triangle at all let me play against computer here this is just not clear all right so if i just play oh if I just play here, what what's he, he's gonna move? Oh, he's probably playing on king d4. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that triangle idea is not that clear to me. Uh, so, is it like uh, provoking him to do a position on d3? to think about this offline guys this is like um, this is not clear to me what's this triangle all this about
Yeah. Let me set up this position for myself. Uh, throughout the day, I'm going to think about it. About this triangle idea, I, I guess I didn't. But uh, more about this triangle idea when I was learning it. All right, I think I'm gonna continue with this puzzle tomorrow. Uh, that's it for today. It's been one hour, so I have to work. See you tomorrow, guys. Uh, probably like 7:30 a.m. Eastern time. Right, bye.